Hello all, and welcome to this tutorial for the rest of the dwarves in The Hobbit, as promised. They're all wrapped up into one video for your convenience or your frustration, because dang this video is long and now you have to sit here for 20 minutes and watch this instead of more cat and baby videos. Well, if you're in a rush like that, here's a list of all the dwarves in the video, and you can pick out which ones you want to watch by clicking on the name. Anyways, enough blabbering, so let's get started. Most of the styles in here are rather easy, like this one inspired by Balin. I say inspired because most people don't have fantastic beards to braid, so I'm translating the dwarf style into things that can be worn on the head. Since Balin's style is very minimal, this translation is a minimal variant on a half-up hairstyle. Simply grab sections of hair from your temple like this. Bring them across the back of your head and add in some hair from behind the opposite ear, and then tie off with small elastics. The next style is equally simple. Since Dwalin is bald, just shave your head. <laughs> no, instead grab some hair from your side hairlines on either side of your face and tightly secure these sections behind your head to create a smooth silhouette, as if you were bald. Then decorate the little ponytail with hair beads to mimic the iron ear cuffs Dwalin wears. If you want to go extra cool, you could create a teased pompadour on the top of your head first, in order to mimic the mohawk Twalin has in the flashback scene of the first movie. This third style is inspired by Oin and requires some braiding skill. Since he has flipped up braids in his beard, we're going to replicate that braid shape on our heads by grabbing a little bit of hair above the ear and French lace braiding up towards the top of the head. If you don't know what French or lace braiding is, just type that into the search bar on YouTube and you'll find lots of tutorials that will teach you those techniques. Anyways, we're French lace braiding up towards the top of the head as I said. Add in hair from your side hairline as you go, and angle the braid a little farther back towards your crown with each step so that the braid path has a nice smooth curve. Once you've reached your part, start French braiding at the top of your head by adding in hair from right next to the braid on both sides. Keep going until you reach your crown, and then stop adding in hair and braid normally to the ends. Repeat on the other side of your head to create a mirror image. Finally, tie the two braids together at about the middle of the back of your head. Number four is a style inspired by Gloin. With all your hair combed back, gather up a section from the top of your head and tie it into a small ponytail. On one side of your head, gather a horizontal section from just below this top bit, combine it with hair from half of the ponytail, and tie that off. Repeat with the other side of your head as well as the other half of ponytail.
Then place your fingers about halfway up your side hairline and draw them backwards to collect hair for the final tier of ponytail. Tie this at the back of your head, leaving the other ponytails out. Gloin also has little clubbed braids in his beard, so we'll make these behind the ear as accents. Make two or three small English braids with this hair. Then fold each one of those so it's only a couple inches long. Secure with two small elastics, one near the top of the club and one near the bottom. Do this with each of your small braids and then you're done. Ori's hair I think is best done on short hair, but I'll still show you how to do it on mine. Gather a section of hair from one side of your part near your forehead and tie it off with a small elastic. Then tie some cord or string to this elastic that is as long as your section of hair. Leather cord works best since that's what Ori wears in the movies. Then split the section into three parts with the cord added to one of them and braid to the ends. Make the same braid on the other side of your head in the same position, with more cord added in. Now grab a section of hair from the back corner of your head and repeat the tying and braiding process. Do it again at the other back corner. Now tie off all the hair that falls in front of your ear still, add in cord, and braid that to the ends. Do the same with the hair that falls over your other ear. Once done, your Ori hairstyle is finished. Looks a little hippie, no? Now let's get crazy with Dory's hair. He actually does have braids on his head rather than his beard, so we'll replicate his head style rather than just deriving inspiration. First, grab a strip of hair along your part about four centimeters wide, running from your forehead to where your part disappears. Touch braid this section front to back and finish to the ends when you run out of hair to add. Repeat on the other side of your part. Now, just below your Dutch braid, at the point where it turns from Dutch to English, grab a little bit of hair and Dutch lace braid down towards your face. When you reach your hairline, braid right along its edge downward until you reach your ear. At that point, finish the braid to the ends. Repeat on the other side.
Now loop your two first braids across the back of the head so that the tails point towards your face, and bobby pin them in place like this. Then clip the other braids horizontally back on your head, passing underneath the first braid. With those that are still near your ear, undo the braid up to that point and Dutch lace braid the rest of your hair in, tracing along your hairline from ear to the middle of the back of your neck. Finish to the ends. Now that all of your hair is in braids, grab the four tails and twist them together up the back of your head. If your hair is long enough that this twist extends beyond the top of your head, double back and twist around the part of the twist laying against your head. Dory has a large metal tube containing the structure, but I'm not doing that because the closest I could find to something like that was a toilet roll, which isn't really that glamorous. So instead I'm keeping the twisted bun thing bare and bobby pinning it down. And voila, Dory's hair. Nori has some crazy teasing and volume in the movies, but it's not really possible to do that without a buttload of hairspray and inserts, so I'm watering this down to themes featured in his beard. First collect up all the hair on top of your head, and turn this into a 5 strand braid. Next, grab sections of hair from either side of your head and English braid them. Now bring these braids together at the back of the head and secure them. Club the ends to finish by folding them under and tying another elastic right above the bend. For Biffer's inspired style, collect the hair on top of your head and English braid it to the ends. Then French lace braid directly beneath the section, moving backwards horizontally. When you reach the large English braid, stop adding in new hair and finish these braids to the ends. Do it on both sides of your head. Bofors hair is really easy. Simply divide your hair into two halves and English braid both halves. Add a hat with ear flaps for maximum accessorizing. You can even braid stiff wire into your hair if you want the braids to stick up on their own.
And finally, we have a style inspired by Bomber. First, tie your hair into a high ponytail. Second, divide the ponytail in half and English braid one of the halves. With the other half, create a ballet bun by twisting up the section of hair and pinning it down around the ponytail holder in a spiral formation. To finish, drape the braid under the bun and pin it up alongside the opposite side of the bun. You can make the loop long or short as you like. So there you have it, that's the completion of my Dwarf hairstyles for the Hobbit trilogy. Anyways, I hope to see you again soon. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, you should put them down here in the comments section. And I'll hopefully get to them. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you later.